In my last video I showed you how you can use ChatGPT to write essays. I was overwhelmed with the amount of feedback I had, but one thing caught my attention, which was there was a lot of questions of people asking for further clarification on certain things, like getting citations, finding more ideas and expanding on the outputs. Now, when I first released that video, it wasn't actually possible to do the enhancements that I'm going to show you in this video. This video is going to be an enhanced, more refined, and a tutorial on how you can write an essay. I'm going to show you this incredible prompt that I've created that you can start utilizing today and start getting some incredible results. And I'm going to show you how I've been writing over thousand plus word blogs and articles and essays using automation. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to tap the like button and subscribe to this channel. Now to get started with ChatGPT, you want to head over to chat.openai.com and then click the sign up button. Once you've created yourself an account, you'll now be able to access ChatGPT's interface so you can actually start writing. Now we're inside ChatGPT, you should see these two options at the top. We have our 3.5 model and our GPT-4 model. We're going to want to use GPT-4 and if you don't have this option, it's likely because you're not a Plus user. So to become a Plus member, head over to your account, click on my plan and then subscribe to the plus plan. It is truly worth it if you plan on doing a lot of writing. Now that you're inside GPT-4, we're going to want to enable some of the plugins. So again, we click on our account, settings, beta features, and we're going to enable web browsing and plugins. Fun tip, if you're going to general, you can also change the theme to a light one or a dark one. Now that we've enabled the plugins and the browsing, we can then hover over the GPT-4 and select what we want to enable. We're going to enable browsing. Now what the browsing feature actually does is it lets GPT-4 browse the internet for up-to-date information. Prior the browsing feature, we could only access, or GPT-4 could only access up to year 2021. So now with this enabled, we are actually much more likely to get up-to-date sources from today, for example. Now, the prompt I'm about to show you is an incredibly powerful prompt. And if you want to just copy and paste the prompt, I'll leave a link in the description for you where you can copy and paste it. For a lot of you, this actually might be the longest prompt you've ever used with ChatGPT. And perhaps you may not have actually realized that you can create prompts of significant length. But in order to truly get great outputs, we really need to be specific with what we're telling GPT-4. First thing that we're going to specify to GPT-4 is we're going to tell GPT-4 what it is we want. So we're going to say, please write a comprehensive essay on, and then we'll place our topic here. I'm just going to use a placeholder for now, but I will replace it as we move forward. This essay should be a minimum of 1000 words and must include the following elements. When I say it should be a minimum of 1000 words, it doesn't mean we're actually going to get a thousand words, but we're trying to get ChatGPT to recognize that we want lengthy outputs. We're going to add a space and then we're going to put an engaging and concise introduction that outlines the scope and objectives of the essay. And you'll notice what I'm doing here is just getting really specific with every step that I want ChatGPT to do for me. Relevant and informative headings that organize the essay into sections. These headings should appropriately break down the different aspects of the topics. And now what I'm doing is I'm giving it guidance on how I want things to be formatted. Each point under these headings should be expanded upon in well formatted paragraphs. Make sure each paragraph is coherent, logically structured, 
and connects smooth connects smoothly with the next and again i'm just emphasizing every little thing inside chat gpt so it's got clear concise instructions with every element of what i'm asking the use of relevant and reliable sources for all information statistics and arguments presented in the essay these sources must be accurately cited using the APA or MLA Chicago Harvard choose one depending on your needs style of referencing now we're just giving it a little bit more direction and we're telling it where to go to find the references and the formats and the general structure of how we actually want the essay to be done a conclusion that summarizes the main points of the essay the essay flex on the implications of the findings and suggests avenues for future research or discussion so now we're focusing on the conclusion because we're coming to the end of this prompt but there's still one more element that we want to add which is the essay should maintain an academic tone demonstrate a deep understanding of the topic and offer original insights in text citations and a reference list at the end of the essay are required telling chat gpt the tone that we want it in uh, and how the text citations and the reference list should be formatted and where it should go in the actual essay and then finally we just want to uh, make sure that this isn't going to be plagiarized so we're going to say please ensure that the content is plagiarism free and can be directly copy pasted into my work and again sometimes it can create just bullet points of things and stuff like that so this is giving it clear direction and saying saying hey don't create bullet points create actual content that i can copy and paste if we just scroll up you can see that this is quite a long prompt but this is very different to how most people are writing prompts because this is actually giving clarification on every step of the process i already know what i want my essay to be and to look like i just need to tell chat gpt and translate that to gpt4 on how i vision it to be and the only way you can ever do that is by clarifying every step of the process so we're going to change the topic and we're going to say please write a comprehensive essay on the impact of social media sites on kids emotions and now the final step is to press enter gpt4 is considerably slower than chat gpt 3.5 and because we have enabled browsing this will make things even slower because it's actually searching the internet for relevant information now what you can see here is it's doing exactly what we have asked so it's starting to write the essay for us now what i'm going to do i'm going to jump straight to the end result and don't forget to stay until the end because i'm going to show you how i've been generating over a thousand word plus blogs in basically any format within second so we're back and it's finished generating part of what it is we asked it to do so we have a title the introduction and then what it's done is that it's broken down some information it's done all the searches and it started trying to find all the references and citations so then it can recreate things with everything hyperlinked and this is what we're going to see here which is right here so this is where it's hyperlinked everything and you can see 
here we've got a, a hyperlink to this so let's have a look and you can see the pros and cons for social media youth and it's a working relevant link and if we just scroll down there's a whole bunch of stuff and it's just found lots of these links now one other thing you can do is you can actually click continue generating and it will actually continue from the point it left off so you can keep on expanding inside gpt4 you won't really get past 600 to 800 words at any one point so let me show you how i do it with automation i use an automation tool and i'll leave a link in the description below for you but basically this is what i do so i've connected google sheets and then I've broken down every part of an essay or a blog that I actually want creating so that ChatGPT can actually create things in chunks. So for example, this chunk here can be 500 words. This one can be 400 words, another 500 words, 600, 700 words, etc., etc. And then I combine them all together to post into one of my WordPress websites. So I'll give you an example of how this actually works. So this specific automation is actually for reviewing products. So if I type in a product, let's say something like InVideo, which is an AI video tool, and then I head over to my automation and this actually runs automatically in the background but I've paused it so I can show a quick example and then I do run once what's happening here is that it's now reading my Google Sheet document and it's running it through ChatGPT or GPT-4 if I just pop this open and then go into here you can actually see the first bit of text the introduction text has been created for me and now in the format using the prompts that i've created for each one of these modules it's now writing information about this product once this is done i'll come back and i'll open up my wordpress website so you can have a look at the actual blog we're entering the conclusion stage right here so the next step after the conclusion is a post being created in my wordpress site so if we quickly just go over to wordpress refresh the page you'll see that I've actually got no drafts waiting. So what's going to happen is now that this is completed, once I refresh my WordPress site again, we shall see a draft post. So inside my website, I'm going to refresh and there we have it. We have a draft post. And if I preview this, you can now see we've got the introduction, we've got the benefits, we've got other headings, we've got the pros and cons, we've got businesses that benefit, even a guide to creating content with it, practical uses, and a conclusion right here. And if we open up our Word document and just paste this in, in the bottom left, it's generated 1,446 words. Actually, in theory, create 10,000 plus essays if you wanted to, just by breaking it all down. If you would like further training on how to set up these automations like I do, I'll leave a link below, but you can also head over to brainyautomations.com, join my community, and you can start asking your questions, and I'll be happy to create some personalized video content for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.